Well, the hospital is only treating one COVID wow. patient this week in Western North Carolina. It went 15 straight days without any COVID patients at all. Fox Carolina's Teresa Bowles takes a closer look at the pandemic in Henderson County. It's really amazing from a provider point of view, you know, to not have that pressure, if you will, of managing a large number of patients and allocating resources and staff. Party Hospital Infectious Disease Medical Director Chris Parsons is feeling relieved and so are the people who live around the hospital. I think it's it's great. It shows that we're making a lot of progress. I'm not about to declare that we're COVID free. The hospital went 15 days with no COVID patients back in March. This week they're down to one. David Holtberg believes Hendersonville took the virus seriously. People were very, very careful about wearing masks. and That's not always been the case when I've gone to other places. And his wife, Darlene, who has lived here since the 80s, believes COVID-19 scared the older residents, which she says takes up a big chunk of the city's population, so they got their shots. It's known as a retirement community. We heard initially that older people were really susceptible. And while this is exciting for the Hendersonville community and the Infectious Disease Department, there are some looming variants that everyone needs to know about. The Omicron variants, known as BA1 and BA2, are still very easy to catch. But he attributes the case decreases to... With more people who have been exposed or vaccinated, a larger fraction of the population is developing immunity to the virus. Parsons says severe cases are down too, and he hopes it stays that way. We're all happy with the reduction in cases and able to get back to some normal life. Teresa Bowles, Fox Carolina News. Now, Parsons encourages people gathering in large groups, those who are not vaccinated or those who are immunosuppressed to continue to wear those face masks.